And good evening. Thank you very much for being with us, everybody. Our top story, a middle school student says a stranger tried to lure her into his car on her way to school. It happened in Vancouver near Northwest Basel Road and 117th. That's where K2's Megan Cockstein is live tonight. Megan, you talked to the friend who normally walks with the girl. Yeah, and Sarah Blackwell is actually pretty shocked, especially because she didn't learn about it until the day after her friend says it happened. She says that her friend claimed the guy not only tried to lure her right out here on the street, but that he did it a couple of more times. And so that friend actually was able to run away, but it's got a lot of people out here very nervous. When Sarah Blackwell leaves for school, I have my book bag and my phone in my hand. She walks up Basel Road on this usually quiet street. She often walks with a girlfriend to catch the bus, but Sarah was sick Thursday, so her friend went alone. A day later, the Blackwells learned what happened to Sarah's friend. A car came down into our neighborhood and rolled down the window, yelled out, you're late for the bus. Why don't you get in? I'll take you to school. And the friend said, no. And the guy turns around the median and follows her up and apparently yelled to her a couple more times, come on, you're late for the bus, I'll take you to school, I'll take you to school. And she just yelled no, no, and continued on. Pretty scary. Parents around here now say they'll keep a closer eye on their kids. Bad things can happen in nice places. You just have to be careful. The Blackwells are using this stranger danger moment to reinforce safety strategies. And then emergency is the first one, and all you have to hit is send, which is the calling button. Like having Sarah walk with her cell phone ready. I know the people that are home and that go to work. And knowing where to go in her neighborhood for help, just in case. What you do as a parent? You just be careful. Now, Sarah's mom tells me that she tried to email everyone in this neighborhood just to keep them in the loop. We also know that the Vancouver Public Schools also sent a letter home to parents. The sheriff's office is investigating, but they have very few details to go on at this point. They say the only description they have is that he's a white man in his 50s with a gray hair and a gray mustache and a light blue two-door car. We're live in Vancouver. Megan Cockstein, K2 News. And key is just getting that word out there as quickly as possible. Megan, thank you.